You know, I used to buy into the idea that whatever I was about to do wouldn't draw criticism to me. Because I feel, in my eyes, I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I'm trying to make a difference in the world. I'm hopefully trying to push you out of your comfort zone and make you take some action. And because I feel that I'm doing something right, why would anyone criticise me? And yet, I'm going to be criticised. And you're going to find that as well too. And I want you to remember this quote by Albert J. Dunlap. And the quote was, Criticism is the price for success. If you don't do anything today, say you don't do your videos, you don't write your book, you don't record your podcast or create any content, there's nothing there that anyone can criticise you on. But when you take action, when you start making the videos, when you start doing the podcast, when you start writing books, when you start putting stuff out there, you're going to find the critics will come for you. They're going to come for you and you need to be prepared that they will come for you, that you're not going to be the only one in the world who is going to get away scot-free. And you're going to find that when you go further up and further up and you start becoming more and more and more successful, you're going to draw more criticism to you. Now that doesn't mean that you're a bad person, that because you're up here, you know, you're not as good as what you were down here. It's the price of success. So remember that right now, that if you do nothing, we can't criticise you. But when you start having some success, the critics will come for you. And as that, as you know, Albert J. Dunlap said, criticism is the price for success. And if you want to be successful, you have to be willing to pay that price. And you're not going to get away scot-free. People are going to come after you and criticise you. Remember that and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.